with PID is that with this library you've got an input, an output, and a set point. The set point is linked to the stick on the radio. So the radio determines what the set point is. The input into the PID algorithm comes from this 10K pot that's connected to this shaft. And then the output is set to negative 254 through positive 254. And the negative or positive determines the motor direction. The, the chattering is the brake. This, this jack motor has a brake, and so that's the, that's the uh, electromagnetic brake fluttering on and off. And it seems to be running nice and cool. Seems, seems to be working really well. So, just wanted to share that. Really happy with it. Um, there's a 10K pot back here connected all the way through this output shaft. It's one nice continuous shaft, so I got a lot of decent accuracy there with no uh, no uh, slop in the gears, no backlash. Okay, so this is just a little closer look at the little Arduino stack I got here. This is the Robot Power Mega Moto Shield. Uh, drives one motor and then that's stacked on top of a uh, Proto Shield. And then the only thing that the Proto Shield is used for is to give me a place to solder in a plug to get my uh, analog 3 pin connected to the 10k pot on the homemade servo and uh, the digital digital pin 5 connected to my RC receiver here and then underneath is the uh, Arduino Uno 